I'm Chris Belucci. I work with Geoengineers of the Bend, Oregon office, and here we are in uh, Washington at Lake Taps installing wireless piezometers on the Dyke 11 system here. Lake Taps is actually a reservoir that is pretty much all managed by a dike system. And on this system, they have a number of monitoring wells that have traditional, what we call data loggers, piezometers measuring water level. And those systems would have to be read once a week manually, where a person has to come up, open up a wellhead, measure that instrument, pull the data from that instrument, and then take that data back to their workstation to view it. And what we're doing here today is replacing the traditional data loggers with wireless uh, in situ piezometers. And what those systems are gonna be doing is by text messaging, transmitting the data readings from them uh, once an hour from the wellheads and being monitored through an application called Earth Analytics. There's three uh, data points that they're actually pulling from the piezometers. Water temperature, uh, water level, and pressure. And basically that data is coming to the system raw. Now that data is actually being uh, transmitted out via what they call a data logger, which is about a two and a half foot tube that's at the top of the well casing. That has a cellular antenna from there that transmits that data out. Now that tube basically is designed uh, with a lithium battery that can last up to 10 years. That's dependent how frequently in which you transmit the data from the tube. So the software basically provides a number of data points to view this information. So the data is actually transmitted to an Amazon cloud service where Earth Analytics resides. Uh, as the system data comes into the system, there are calculations that can be applied to that information. So you may want to be calculating uh, pressure, you may want to be calculating certain water uh, depth, and you provide those engineering calculations to the raw data coming into the system. You're also able to enable that data to have uh, alarms and triggers on it. So if you want to say, I want to be notified at this particular wellhead, if the water level reaches more than 52 feet, I need to be notified of that. So provide some notification systems through it. The last piece of it is what it does is then it visualizes that information. So you can plot this data over time, you can compare that data with other data elements. So for example, we have uh, a gauge data for reservoir depth that's measured here. There's actual a USGS uh, and weather station data that's further south of here. So we pull that data into the system as well. So now you can compare and contrast different information points with the real-time data coming into the system. And the system actually allows you to build reports uh, that basically fit a predetermined format as the data comes in and populates those reports. And now you can send that in a PDF to any of the regulators or other interesting bodies that need to view that information. So that was very much a manual process before. Uh, that's now an automated process to the backside of Earth Analytics. Uh, right now the application has been on uh, water facilities, whether that be levees or hydroelectric facilities. It's also being applied to a pipeline uh, project that Portland General Electric is running. So they have a pipeline on a slope that has a lot of movement on it. Data is being pulled into there as well. So that's a very broad application that is out there. The advantage of being able to see that data much quicker helps you then determine what potential areas do we have to monitor.